everybody and welcome my name is Eric and today I'm going to be reviewing my very own six person tent from Coleman this is a Coleman instant cabin so it's kind of easy to pop up and put together I'm putting this video together because I had two requests one from a friend from Facebook and one from YouTube the one from Facebook wanted to get a uh, an easy to work with tent that has nice mesh you know to prevent the bugs from coming in and I I told him that I'll recommend him this one because I've used it I've had it for like four years already and it's a very good tent but I told him that I was gonna make a video so I can show him. And the YouTube, and the, and the, the YouTube viewer asked me, um, how do they determine if it's a six person or four person, or a four person or 10 person or two person tent? I'm gonna show you guys that, how to determine that. In fact, I'm gonna show you guys a quick picture on the screen. That's basically it. They usually lay down average size um, uh, sleeping bags, see how many they fit. But I'm gonna show you guys that once I put it all together. Anyway, let me go ahead and get started. Now, as you guys can see, the head of it is still sticking out because I will be honest, am I able to actually fold this tent properly to make it fit? Yes, but it takes forever. So I just don't mind it sticking out a little bit out of the back, but it still fits, still does. All right. This is an instant pop-up tent. It's got four legs you have to spread out. That sounds kind of weird. Uh, yeah, <laughs> let me go ahead and uh, Expand the legs like so, and it's got these uh, extended legs that you have to stretch out like so. Stretch it out. It's a fairly easy tent to work with, so it's not like impossible. Might take a little bit of practice to get used to, but other than that, it's pretty straightforward. As you can see, most of it is already set up. I usually do my rounds around to spread it properly. And it's got these legs that they extend. So I extend one and it's got a clip. It clips automatically. There we go. There we go. And that's pretty much it. Basically the tent right now is built. Now the entrance is all the way there. I gotta turn it around. Turn around, turn around, every now and then I get a little bit closer, but I never turn around, every now and then, every now and then, there we go, okay, so we're going to turn around, Woo. so even if you set it up, you know, in the wrong position, it's not difficult to get straight out. As you can see, it's a very, very sturdy tent. That should be good enough. <laughs> yep, that should be good enough. All right, so now I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at some major features, like especially for the ones that you guys asked, like the, the mesh and the floor and all that. Let me get to that. Okay, so here we are. In order to open this tent, the zipper is back here. See, it's just to prevent, you know, when it rains, when the water comes down, the water doesn't seep in, so it's got those little flaps. So you move the flaps, and then you start pulling it up. And if you want to open it fully this way, there's another zipper down here that opens it entirely. And then you have an entire entrance, see? There we go. It's a little dirty, I haven't cleaned it. So here it is. Now to my friend that wanted to know about the mesh, let me go ahead and close it. By the way, it can be open and closed from inside or outside. I'm going to close that. I'm not gonna care about that right now, real quick. So here are the mesh. And here is if you want to close it. Usually on the rainy days, I just leave it like this, like that, so I can get some air and the water doesn't seep in too much, so I just open it that much, but it's got plenty of mesh windows. See? Plenty of mesh windows or plenty of air. I mean, there is plenty of airflow in this tent. So when it comes to keeping the tent cool, having fresh air, plenty of it. There we go, and here's another window. So to my friend who's wondering, with this mesh, well, to your heart's content. One, two, three, four, and five. Now up here, 
you guys see this little opening right here? This is to air in and out. And it's got a flap over here that allows you to either keep it open or you can undo it and close it. Same thing on this side. The exact same thing, see? You can either keep it or close it. It's got a little hook to keep a light on. And here's a space. So this is how they determine, as you guys saw earlier picture, they usually lay down standard size uh, sleeping bags. Like the, one can fit there. Two can fit here, three can fit here, four, five, and then six. That's usually how they determine the space of a tent. But in reality, to be comfortable, I will say four. But the main point of this tent is to show you guys that you don't have to have a fancy tent that you have to put together to have a lot of space. You can get one like this that'll give you plenty of space. Like, let's say my friend is him and his wife to be here. So they can have a couple of sleeping bags or maybe cots, things like that. And they can have all their gear on the floor. They can have all the stuff. Keep that away from the outside, from animals and water and rain. So there's plenty of space. So logically, I'll say four people. So <clears throat> the last thing I'm going to show you guys is how it looks from the outside properly. Let's go around. All right. Let me guys give you guys a run around how it looks. And the top. And they, these joints, they feel like they're going to break, but they don't. They're actually built for that, to be twisted and snapped. It's really interesting. There's the rear. All right. Now, I'm going to go ahead and undo it, show you guys how it works. Pack it into the bag. It takes a little bit of effort, but that's why I'm telling you guys, don't be too fancy. It, it may fit entirely. It may not. Don't, don't, don't be mindful about that too much just do your best the idea is to get rid of as much air as possible i'll show you so to undo the tent this is what you do i'm gonna keep the windows open like that with the mesh so the air gets out quicker you guys are going to see these little metal clips on each bar like that and all you gotta do is press it one two the front is already going down see three super easy super easy and there it goes there's one trick of the trade i want to give you guys you guys see there's a little bit of rust right here i sometimes put in some wd-40 so it'll actually go down better so just to give you a tip of the trade because there was a couple of times i was trying to push it down and it was getting stuck wd-40 done deal there we go and there it is so now let me go ahead and unhitch the legs and start putting it together like you know for storage okay so on this point you're going to dislocate literally dislocate these little joints push it down dislocate in same thing with the other one push it down dislocate in dislocate in sometimes it, it, it gives you pressure back do not be scared it's not going to break so once we have it like this, you want to fold in the flaps as much as you can inside. So it'll release more air. Like so, and now, I'm gonna go ahead and get, get the bag that I came with. I usually put the big bulky part, the bottom part, in first, and then I start to close it. So at this point, Slowly grab it towards you and try to lean the bars inward like that. Expect to get a little dirty. So at this point, we're gonna have to remove most of the air. Like so. That's why it's important to have the little windows open with the mesh exposed. Okay, so it'll make this part easier there we go so now most of the air is out i'm gonna lay it down on the uh on the bag and then i begin to wrap around it thankfully coleman thought of this because they actually made the bag big enough so you don't have to struggle at least not too much and at this point i go in with my legs so I can keep it like semi-close like this so I can actually close the zipper. Like that. 
At this point, I lift it, jiggle it down. Thing close. I almost got it this time. It ain't perfect, but it'll do. See? <laughs> All right, well, guys, that'll be it for this video. I hope this video has been informative and educational so you can choose which thing you want to get. I personally recommend this one because it's reliable. I've had it for many years. I've used it island camping. I've used it on state forest camping. I mostly use it on, use it on state forest because usually go to, going to the islands, I'm limited with space. But uh, I use it on the islands and it works. One more thing. Uh, this usually comes with stakes. I have no idea where they at. I think I lost them. Usually when I go camping, I don't, I don't go on windy days. However, on heavy, heavy, heavy windy days, we're talking about 40 mile per hour plus, there is a possibility that it may collapse on itself. It did happen to me once. I was going Sport Island camping on the Indian River and I took it with me for the first time. And uh, the trees had like a, like a cone shape. I didn't realize it was a windy day and it created this funnel of wind, very strong. The tent, the top went like this, bloop, <laughs> it dislocated itself. So keep that in mind. It can withstand like to like maybe 30 mile per hour, but after 40 and 50 mile per hour winds, um, it does collapse. Just keep that in mind. But then again, that's an extreme scenario. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. See you guys on the next one. Later.